this uh, sanded down. Uh, the whole panel's been sanded down with 800 wet or dry. And uh, the panel's dried now. Now we can go ahead and start our artwork. Now you can do your, you know, if you freehand uh, airbrush, you could do that at this point. Or if you lay down the stripes or whatever you need to do, you can, be, you can do now. So what I'm going to do is, is I know that uh, probably According to the question that I was asked, you probably know a lot about the airbrushing and how to do that part of it, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. Uh, you know, there's some other videos that, that you can learn, like from Ed Hub that really does a, a deep learning on the airbrush type work. I'm just going to lay down some uh, a quick flame or something, just kind of go through the process, let you know how to do that. So, um, so I'll just go ahead, and there's a couple different ways you can do this. I'm just going to lay something out. You know, there's different methods. Uh, they've got this paper that has, that's kind of sticky and they've got different widths that you can put on here. And you could draw your artwork and cut it out or, you know, or things like that. But I'm just gonna uh, lay down some pinstriping real fast, kind of an outline for some, some uh, blanks. It's really important whenever you're, you're laying this uh, tape down to not pull it too hard whenever you're making your curves because if you try to make it uh, stretch it too much, it's going to shrink up around your curves and start lifting. So don't just kind of gently pull it. to the outside of the edge. And if you don't like something, you just pull it back, start over. And again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this. I'm just throwing this out there real fast just to kind of go through the steps. Again, you know, we don't like something to pull it back. And if I was actually doing this on, on a real car, it would take me quite a bit longer because this is not something that I do uh, all the time. So, you know, and I'd want to make sure that it is a little bit straighter and looks a little better. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to lay it out real fast.
And again, you could spend a lot more time getting this exactly what you, how you wanted it. Uh, like I said, I don't, you know, do airbrushing on a daily basis. But I want kind of just to go over this. And what you want to do now is you still got to protect the rest of the panel from be, having overspray. So what you want to do is go around this from two inch, then we'll mask the panel off, and then we can go ahead and spray our flame or pearl or whatever we're going to do. Okay, now what we've done is we've, we've used this fine line tape, 3M fine line tape, which works really good for doing your initial uh, outline. And like I said, you don't want to pull it too tight whenever you're doing your, your curves and corners, or it may peel back on the corners. So, got that on. Then we got some uh, 3M masking tape and kind of went around the outside edge with, the, with that. And we still need to go ahead and protect the rest of the panel and keep overspray from getting on it. So we're just going to use some masking paper and tape and start applying to this. Uh, another thing you want to make sure of is whenever you're doing this, kind of look over your line and make sure that uh, what is covered. Sometimes it gets confused, confusing on what you're supposed to be covering and what is uh, supposed to be part of your your pocket. So uh, make sure just kind of double check all that. If you do this every day, I'm sure it becomes second nature to where you know you just lay it out and not think twice about it. But, uh, always have to kind of look at it and make sure. That is what I wanted. So I'll go ahead and finish uh, putting the masking paper on, get it masked off, and then I'll show you a little bit of airbrushing. <laughs> 